Hi, I'm Eric with The Crew. Viv and I just got back from Antarctica a few months ago. On our way back, we had some time to spend in Ushuaia, the tip of South America. This was pretty exciting for me because back in 1520, Magellan sailed through a strait that separated a piece of land from the mainland of South America. When he sailed through, he saw all these like fires on the hillsides, like volcanic activity. He subsequently called it Tierra de Fuego, the land of fire. Huddled for 10,000 years on the coast of Tierra de Fuego were the Yagan people, and they were the ones keeping these stoked fires going. They were a hunter-gatherer population, so they had to keep their caloric intake high, and they would do this through fish, dead seals, berries, fungus, anything they could find. And they constantly forged for these types of materials throughout the forests of the region and along the coast. It was actually found that they had evolved in this region for so long that their core body temperature was a few degrees lower than most people to be able to exist knowing that I was in this region. We went up into the hills of Tierra de Fuego, into the mountains, and then down into the beech tree forest, the Northophagus Antarctica beech tree, which is important. We were searching for the end of the world, or fin del mundo, as the locals call it. And we found it as we started to wander through the beautiful beech tree forests along the coast. I started to notice these really unusual outcroppings on the trees that didn't quite look like they're part of the tree. At first I thought they were flowers, but they're really alien looking. So I excitedly climbed up into the tree to get a closer look because I like to get real tactile with life and it turned out to be some kind of growth or foreign body on the tree. Now, I happen to be in a past life a plant molecular geneticist, so I had a pretty good idea of what this might be. It was a giant hard gall, and then you've probably seen them on trees. It's where the tree itself kind of erupts into a hard ball. And this usually is caused by a bacterial or viral or fungus infection on the tree. I knew immediately these were fungus, and I was absolutely fascinated. And so was Darwin. Darwin, on his way to the Galapagos, had sailed up the Beagle Channel to step foot in Ushuaia, exactly on the beech tree forest coastline where we were. He was just as excited as I was. He was so fascinated that he took samples and took them with him on the HMS Beagle all the way to the Galapagos. He brought them back to the Royal Botanical Garden in the queue where you can find them today. They're a little gray and a little dried up, but you can get permission to go take a look. Now, Darwin wasn't the first person to discover these. That was the Yagan people in Tierra de Fuego, but he was the first one to bring it to science and into his theory of evolution. And they named it after the famous naturalist, Sataria Darwini. The fungus itself has been around for 180 million years since Guandanaland, the supercontinent. When the continent broke up, it became isolated. It's so isolated in Tierra de Fuego, it's the only fungi put into the category of as Antarctica flora, which is normally reserved for plants. The Agam people began to add it to their diet that went on to make up about 30% of their caloric intake, as it says in Darwin's notes. I had to find a Yagan person to talk to about it being edible and how to prepare it and eat it. I didn't want to accidentally poison myself by a misnomer in a 190-year-old journal. Unfortunately, I found out that Yagan people are pretty much extinct along with their language, so I don't even know if my pronunciation is correct. There was one left, a 95-year-old woman, on the other side of the Beagle Channel. The next best thing I could do was see if I could find someone who was local to the area. So Viv and I started waving down cars on the way back down from the mountains, and we actually got picked up by a local. Turns out she was half Yagan. So I was about to get half the information on ingesting a 180 million year old fungus that Darwin mentioned somebody could eat. We were probably gonna be, and it turns out, the first people to ever capture this beach orange on film, especially eating it. It's considered a grape-like type of fruit. It has 15% fermentable sugars in it. So some people will actually make an alcohol or wine out of it. It has a bit of a loose inside of a grape, but this outer edge literally tastes like a mushroom. And it is a fungus. And when the holes open up, it will eject spores out and it will infect all the other trees. Very fresh and um, like, a, like a fungus or mushroom is, 
has its own subtle flavors, but nothing really strong. I finally convinced Viv to try it, and she immediately spit it out. So you can draw your own conclusions. Thanks for joining me on this little tour of the natural history of Tierra de Fuego and a little mycology in there. I was really stoked to be able to participate in the natural history of the Yagan people and walk in the footsteps of some of my heroes, Magellan, Drake, and Darwin. If you want to follow us and where we go around the world, see some behind the scenes of adventure filmmaking, some beautiful landscapes and cultures, a few how-tos, follow us, subscribe below. Really, subscribe, share us, and comment. I want to know what you think about this video and others. Thanks for joining us. One eye open in the crew.